Wait, what? Another build? Yes, another skill build, guys. My run and gun skill build. Are you ready? Let's go! What up, YouTube? Welcome to another Division 2 video. Thanks for clicking my content. Really appreciate you watching it. If you like my content and want to help the channel out, don't forget to smash that like button. And today I'm going to show you my second crit skill build. I wanted to wait with the skill build. We talked about adding some few additions to the skill build from yesterday at the end of the video. But I already got a lot of questions about why not adding kinetic momentum. Why not adding the memento backpack like we talked about. And I got a lot of great conversations underneath my last content. So I needed to drop this for you guys. I needed to drop it already. And this is the freaking awesome build. In my opinion, a run and gun build. Yes, you do not have to sit in the corner and then let the skills do the talking. If you want to sit in the corner, hang back, watch a movie while your skills do all the damage for you, this isn't the build for you. Of course, it will do a lot of damage, but this is more synergized to you and your skills. You need to be running around. As you can see, we are picking up those memento trophies, giving you that extra boost for a few seconds. And of course, the long term buff boosting your whole build up quite a lot. You can survive a few shots return fire your skills will come in aid and you will take down even the higher difficulties within the game but yeah guys i had so much fun playing with this on the pts i wanted to wait a little bit because yesterday i already dropped that other skill build freaking awesome build as well handling glass scanning doing a little bit more damage with my gun itself but enough gameplay guys let's dive into the build and there we are guys this is the beauty that you just saw this is the build that i'm run and gunning with and this is a lot of fun i tested it out a few weeks ago on the pts I got all the things together. Of course, there were some things that were changed. Of course, the capacitor is doing a little bit more damage and doing a little bit more skill damage as well. So that's a very nice change. But this build is a lot of fun to play with. As you can see, of course, I went for the capacitor. Why? Of course, the capacitance shooting enemies builds up a stack of a cap of 40. Each stack grants 1.5% skill damage and after 5 seconds stacks decay for once per second. For each skill tier that you handle you will gain an extra 7.5% weapon damage. We are handling a 6 core yellows. Yes guys 6 core because of course the memento will give us an extra yellow. And then for my specialization I went for the technician because that will give us some extra skill tier as well and some extra skill damage over to the setup of my build like you see i went for the memento i went for the wyvern vest three pieces of empress international and the overlord knee pads like you see i changed a couple of things with the build from yesterday of course this was exactly the same i went for skill damage and critical hit chance for all my pieces so to do a lot more skill damage but still get that gun of mine to that 60 percent cap of critical hit chance so you can see i did it exactly the same for the gloves and for the holster maxed out skill damage and almost maxed out critical hit chance then i went for the overlord and i went for some armor on there because if we want to run around, I think the armor is the better choice. That's why we have 1.1 million armor. You can just still eat up some bullets and do a decent amount of damage. Why? Of course, because we want that damage to target out of cover. And again, got some skill damage on there. Then over to my wyvern. Why wyvern? Of course, it will give us skill damage at 10%. 
then rolled some critical hit chance on there went for kinetic momentum and some skill damage skill damage can be a lot higher but i don't know why i cannot get a better one and it's so frustrating but let's jump over to kinetic momentum when in combat, each skill generates a stack while active or not on cooldown. Stacks increase your total skill damage by 1% and the total skill repair by 2%, up to 15 stacks per skill lost when on cooldown. So you will get a 15% extra skill damage and a 30% extra skill repair, but we're only doing it for the skill damage. And this does, on a base, more damage than Glass Cannon. Of course, when all the boosts come together, that glass cannon will hit a little bit harder. Just like I showed you with the what hits harder episode from a few weeks back. That's why I chose for kinetic momentum this time. Because of course, glass cannon will give you that extra in and coming damage. We want to run around, so I chose for kinetic momentum. Yes, still losing some weapon damage that I don't like. But of course, we got an extra red core back with the Memento backpack. Why then the Memento backpack? Uh, probably you already know this because we are playing for kill confirmed. Enemies you kill drop a trophy on death. Collecting trophies both provides a short and long term buff. The first of which skills with the numbers of core attributes equipped and lasts 10 seconds. For each red core, 5% weapon damage. For each blue core, 10% bonus armor. And for each yellow core, 5% skill efficiency. For every trophy collected, gain an additional 1% weapon damage, 1% skill efficiency and 0.1% armor regeneration for 300 seconds or 5 minutes. The max stack is 30, so we will get up to that 30% weapon damage, 30% skill efficiency, and this is at max stacks, and you are pretty quick at the max stacks, guys. And as you can see, we are rocking one red, so if we walk over one of the trophies, we will get 5% extra weapon damage. We are rocking two blues, one from the Overlord and one from the Memento Backpack. So that will give us 20% extra bonus armor. And next to that we're rocking a 6 core yellow from my specialization and the 5 cores from my build. So we will get another 30% extra skill efficiency. And skill efficiency, just like I said yesterday, will give you a lot more than just skill damage. It will give you everything within the skill bracket. Skill damage, skill health, skill duration, repair skills, and at last you will get some status effect. So you will not only get 30% skill damage, just like we did yesterday with the backpack from Hanayu, you know, the force multiplier will give us some extra skill damage of 30% for 3 seconds if we are shooting an enemy. And the Memento backpack will do exactly the same but give you more things to boost. So your skills are tougher, your skills hold longer in battle because you got some skill health, some skill duration. So this is a very very nice backpack to go for and even on a skill build yes guys so that's why this is my setup and i went for the two blues of course to get that 1.1 million armor like i explained we want to run around then of course went for the skills for the turret and for the drone the turret will hit for 114k but remember this is just base without the backpack proccing, without my kinetic momentum proccing and without of course the 60% boost of the capacitor. And just like the same for my drone, my drone hits for a base of 71.6k. And this is why this hits so freaking hard. You can run around, you can do whatever you like and still do a lot of damage combined with your gun and with your skills. Over to the stats. 55.6% critical hit chance and 87% critical hit damage. And that's all because, of course, we want to go for some crit chance and some skill damage. That's why the critical hit damage is a little bit lower. But, guys, this is just an insane and great build. Don't forget that you're getting 
30% extra weapon damage from the memento boosting this gun up to that 100 108 K damage but yeah guys that's pretty much it for my run and gun skill build you're not sitting in the corner watching a movie waiting until your skills do the job no this is again a combination of you shooting and your skills and with the memento backpack with that extra armor regeneration with that extra armor you can survive but again let me know what you think about it let me know what you think about this setup would you like to change something let me know in the comments down below but for today thanks for watching hope you enjoyed don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribers button and of course the notification bell pure prime out